Captain Davies, please. All right, sir. This way, please. Captain Davy, forgive me, sir. I have, I have been somewhat poorly. Welcome aboard the Lord Ligonier. Mr. Andrews, is it? Uh, no, sir. Uh, John Kellington, your servant, sir. <coughs> Give me. I had forgotten the natural effluvians of a slave ship when not filtered through strong vinegar. That, sir, I do not comprehend how you can abide it. Custom, sir. Custom and avarice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. My instructions were that Mr. Andrews represented the owner's interest. Uh, no, sir. I am factor for Horace Andrews and Company. And Mr. Andrews is at present in Williamsburg in Virginia. Public days, sir. The House of Burgesses is in session. And for those who have the ear of the royal governor, land grants. The chair, Mr. Kellington. I thank you. Did you have a good voyage, Captain? My first officer is dead, ten seamen and the ship's boy, more than a third of my crew. Oh, well, God rest their souls. But the lifeblood of commerce is goods, sir, goods. How fares your cargo through the passage, Captain? Three thousand elephant teeth have survived the voyage. <laughs> You are a pretty wit, sir. A pretty wit. <laughs> Elephant teeth, indeed. <laughs> 140 Negroes were loaded aboard Lord Ligonier in the mouth of the Gambia River. Ah, uh, loose pack. Mm. Well? Of those, 98 were alive when we made port. 98? Oh, less than a third dead. I have known slavers to make port with less than half surviving and still show a handsome profit. My felicitations, Captain. How soon can I unload? Directly we warp your vessel to the war. I want you to secure for me flowers of sulfur to burn in the hold. I wish to see my ship clean again. Oh, and naturally, sir. After all, you'll be carrying tobacco to London. And in London? Trade goods for the Guinea coast. And then on to the Gambia River. A more slave. Indeed, sir. Thus does heaven smile upon us, point to point in a golden triangle. Tobacco, trade goods, slaves, tobacco, trade goods, and so on, ad infinitum. All profit, sir, and none the loser for it. Tell me, Mr. Carrington, do you ever wonder? On what topic, sir? To what end? As to whether or not we are just as much imprisoned as are those chained in the hold below? I do not follow your meaning, sir. It sometimes feels that we do harm to ourselves by taking part in this endeavor. Harm? What harm can there be in prosperity, sir? What harm is a full purse, I'd like to know? No. No. I doubt that you'd like to know, Mr. Carrington. I doubt that either of us would truly like to know. Would you be interested in coming to the auction, Captain? I warrant you've never seen anything like it. No, I am sure I have not, Mr. Carrington. I do know that I am not interested in seeing it now or ever. <laughs> 